Hello, people. Uh, Mr. Rigo here with uh, Lego Dirk. Hey, guys, how's it going? And today we're going to do some uh, problems about time. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, let's do some problems about time. Time's really important. Okay, uh, you're correct. All right, first problem. So Fiona practices her for her piano recital 30 minutes before lunch each day. All right, so 30 minutes before lunch each day. If she has lunch at 12.15 p.m., what time does Fiona start practicing each day? What time does Fiona start practicing each day? So with um, most time problems, at least in third grade, what you're going to be looking for is a start time and an end time. That's correct. So, Lego Derek, are we looking for a start time or an end time here? We're looking for a start time, Mr. Rigo. All right, great. That is right. Because the question says, what time does Fiona start practicing each day? So that's what we're looking for. So she starts practicing at blank. All right? Blank time, blank o'clock. We'll figure that out soon. All right. So um, what makes time problems difficult is that um, we can't just add or subtract every time. Sometimes we can, but you have to be really careful when you add and subtract um, when doing a time problem because time doesn't work on a scale of 100. Time works on a scale of 60, right? There's 60 seconds in a minute, there's 60 minutes in an hour, so that makes things a little difficult because you can't just subtract 30 from 12.15 um, like you'd normally do it and come up with your answer because you have to remember that time works on a scale of 60 not a scale of 100 so I think it's better to make a number line for this particular problem so I will label 1215 as whoops 1215 as my end time this is what we know we know the end time is 1215 we're looking for the start time, right? We want to know the start time. We don't know what that is. Start? Question mark. And we know that Fiona practices for her piano recital 30 minutes before lunch each day. So if this is lunch, she has lunch at 12.15. This is her end time. This is lunch. And she starts 30 minutes before this time. Well, this is our event. And we might have multiple events in a problem. So you'd label it like E1, E2, E3 if you have multiple events. But we only have one event here, so it's just one event. So, I mean, ideally, we'd be able to do 1215 minus 30 and get our answer if you think about a scale of 60. But that's difficult, especially when you're crossing an hour. right? If this was 1230, It'd be really easy because you could do 12:30 minus the 30 minutes and just get 12 o'clock, and that'd be really simple. But because this is crossing that hour, then you really have to think about that 60-minute scale, and it makes it more difficult. It's kind of challenging. So it'd be better to just use this and go by five or 10-minute increments and jump back that 30 minutes. Okay, so let's go by let's go by fives. Um, since this is 15, it starts at a 5, I'd like to jump by 5s. So I go back, minus 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So I'm jumping back 30 minutes, minus 5, minus 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, right? I jumped, I labeled, I checked 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Now I can label my little tick marks here and make sure that I'm actually, um, and not make sure, but, but check to see what time I finish at, or which is actually our start time, which time we started at. So when I do this, I'm going to turn this to the side. And this is a smart move on. Um, these types of problems so you actually have space to label the times so if this was 12.15 minus 5 minutes that's 
minus 5 minutes is 12.05, minus 5 minutes is 12 o'clock, minus 5 minutes is 11.55, minus 5 minutes is 11.50, and minus another 5 minutes would be 11.45. So 11.45 is our start time. So our answer would be B, 11.45. Wonderful. And it's, it's great to jump by fives because, you know, if you look at a clock, that's how it goes, right? It's, it's like five-minute jumps on a clock. i just draw a quick clock here. And this would be another way to solve as well, if you'd prefer, is you could actually draw that time at 12.15, which would be, the hour hand would be about a quarter of the way to one, because it's 15 minutes past 12, and the minute hand would be here, right, that's 12.15, because this is, this is like 0, 0, and 0, 5, and 10, and 15, which is 1, 2, 3 o'clock, right? So if this is 12.15, you could also jump back that 30 minutes like this, and jump back 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and you can see as this minute hand moves back, so does the hour hand though. So you don't want to like say, oh, it's 12.45, and you can see that is an answer choice here because if you were to move this minute hand on the clock, you have to remember this hour hand is moving too. It's not still 12. This hour hand is moving backwards a little bit as well. So it'd go back here and you'd have 11.45. Alright, next problem. Yes, okay, Mr. Rio, I'm ready. Alright, uh, Lego Derek, I didn't ask you, but I'm glad you're ready. Alright, it says, this morning, Damon woke up at 7.45 a.m. Alright, his brother Sam woke up 45 minutes later. At what time did Sam wake up? 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 So Sam woke up at blank. All right, it tells us what time Damon woke up. Sam woke up 45 minutes later. So that's after this time. So this time we're not going back and looking at a start time. This time we're moving forward. We're looking at an end time. Okay, So our start time is at... 7.45. So again, I'm going to make a number line here. And this is 7.45 is our start time. That's when Damon woke up. And then Sam woke up 45 minutes later. So we're looking for the end time, which happens to be when Sam woke up. So again, we can count by fives and add that 45 minutes and, and label the times just like we did before. Double check. So 45 minutes later. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. And let's check. So this time we're not subtracting five, we're adding fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. Okay, so now let's let's check to see what those times would be. So again, I turn it to the side and I start labeling my time. So if this is 7:45, here we have 7:50, then 7:55, and then 8 o'clock. Remember, because every 60 minutes, next hour. So this wouldn't be 7:60, right? goes to 8 o'clock, 805, 810, 815, 820, 825, and finally, 830. All right, so that would be our end time, which is when Brother Sam wakes up at 8.30 a.m. Okay, let's see, what would it look like if we did try to add this, right? 
if we did try to add this, which, you know, I don't particularly advise, because again, this is crossing an hour, but if you did, this is what you'd end up with, right? 7.45 plus 45 minutes. Hmm. 5 plus 5 is 10. 1 plus 4 is 5. Plus 4 is 9. You'd end up with 790. Does that make any sense? No. But then you can think about it, okay? Like if even if you do this, you can still like this is obviously is not your answer, but you can look at this and figure out how you can find your answer. Well, 790, you know, that doesn't work cuz we're on a 60 minute scale when we're talking about minutes in an hour. So, let's take away 60 of these minutes to make an hour. So you could subtract 60 of those minutes and you get 30 and that 60 should go over here, right? Because you took those 60 minutes away and you made an hour with those 60 minutes. So you could you could add it together like that, but then you have to do that extra step where you convert these 90 minutes until into uh, one hour in 30 minutes. So you have to add one hour over here to make that eight o'clock and then you still have 30 minutes left. All right, so you could do the addition, but you have to really be careful and remember that it is a 60 minute scale, All right? So again, I really recommend using the number line. It's the most careful way to do it. Let's do one more, Lego Derek. Yeah, good idea. All right, I'm gonna do this last one at the bottom, number 10. It says, Dante's paddleboarding lesson began at 2.35 p.m. His lesson lasted 45 minutes. At what time did Dante's lesson end? What time did it end? What time did it end? Right, so it ended at blank. So we know we're looking for an end time here. We know the start time is 2.35. Our event is just one event again, so all these are pretty simple. Our event is 45 minutes. All right. You can press pause, try to solve this for yourself. Do it right now. Press pause and try to solve for yourself. And then come back. All right, you're back. Okay, and now you can check to see if you solve correctly. So, start time is 2.35. So you can label it, 2.35. This is our start time. We're looking for our end time which is 45 minutes later, right? So we jump 45, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, and then you're adding that time, right? So 5, 10, double check, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, and now we turn, label, and we should discover our answer. So if this is 235, this is 240. 245, 250, 255, 260, nope, 3 o'clock. That's right, 60 minute scale. 305, 310, 315, and finally, 320. 320 is 45 minutes later, so your answer would be C, 320. All right, folks, hope you enjoyed doing a few time problems with Lego Dark. Yes, it was great. Okay, have a good weekend, or good week, rather. Good weekend for me. Good week for you, because you should be seeing this on a Monday. Bye-bye.